What is up everybody welcome to Elixir and today we are going to look at this Moza AI2 gimbal. So this is a 3 axis gimbal. So if you already know about the axis of the gimbal that's very good but if you don't know so let me show you. There are 3 axis so this is the roll axis which will roll the camera like this. Like this. And this is the yaw axis or pan axis. You can see it's panning like this and this is a tilt axis or the pitch axis so let me first switch on the gimbal so hold the power button for three seconds so it switched on on the front side this side will face you when you are recording like this okay so on the front side you can see this is the screen this is the joystick, this is the wheel, and this is the menu button. This there are two function button, and this is the power button. On the left side, you can see this is a rotor wheel. So you can control the roll and you can also control the follow focus. On the back side, there is a smart trigger. You twice press the smart trigger. So it will get back to its default position. So if you press the smart trigger three times, so it will turn for the selfie mode, like this. Again two times for the default position. So one of the good things about this gimbal is the screen. So the screen you can see the speeds of the all axis. If you rotate the wheel, you can control the speed of all three axes at once. If you press the joystick once, it will follow the pan. Okay. If you again press the joystick, it will lock the pan like this. So if you press the joystick twice, To response to roll. If you press the joystick twice again, it will lock the roll. And and for the tilt, if you press the joystick three times, it will response to tilt like this. And again, if you press it three times, it will lock the tilt. So if you press once to enable the pan and two times to enable the roll and three times to enable the tilt and then you this is responding to all all of its axis so if you hold the smart trigger and then move it doesn't respond to any of the axis like this okay so you can use your sony canon nikon fuji and black magic pockets in my cameras on this gimbal now let's go outside and Grab some footage. So now I will go to the inverted mode. Just hold the smart trigger and go like this. So this uh, is the yes. inverted mode yes. and I will follow her. Okay. So 
now we will go to the inception mode so you can go to the inception mode from the menu and if you press the function button twice it will go to the inception mode there it is so let's give it a shot side track the subject so pan is following tilt is following roll is locked and sensitivity is 40 tilt is following and roll is following the pan is locked so now we will go and do a roll shot so so this is kind of a dutch angle you can see so let's do it sports mode so for that you have to press the function button once and this will show the pan q the indicator of the pan will be q and then holding the smart trigger you can quickly move like this so let's give it a shot my friend helping me out with the shoot so this is my buddy riju and this is my another buddy anish hi <laughs> so most recent gimbals have the feature called auto tune so this gimbal also have the feature auto tune if you hold the function button it will auto tune and do not touch while it's auto tuning You can also do this from the menu. You can control the gimbal settings from the Mozo Master app like uh, panning, tilt and roll. You can also do motion time lapse and hyper lapses all the stuff. In this video I am not going to show you how to balance a gimbal. There are a lot of other videos you can watch um, how to balance a gimbal. So I will put a link of a video in the description so you can watch how to balance particularly this gimbal. So what's my overall thought about this gimbal? So only downside of this gimbal is this gimbal is heavy. So if you put a bigger camera and the bigger lens and this gimbal feels pretty heavy. So if you are not a very strong person this gimbal will feel very very heavy to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like this video, please make sure give it a like and if you love this video, make sure you subscribe. So lots of exciting stuff are coming soon. Press the bell icon for that. I'll see you guys next week. Till then, peace.